to do a shop video. Um, I know many of you may have seen Lois Shop's uh, six minute video tonight. Uh, some of you may haven't, so I decided to go ahead and run it through my video and where others out there can see this because, you know, I told you guys yesterday on my video, I'm getting nervous about California myself with all the uh, quakes going around. Um, and I had this dream years ago about the mega quake hit in California, San Francisco area. So I just want you to see what she has to say about this right now. And I will uh, leave some links in the description box on another topic matter from some other people uh, I saw today and heard today that you might want to be looking at uh, dealing with some issues uh, also. But you have to look in the description box. I'm not going to get into it right here now. But um, we just got to keep watching and praying, people. It's a lot going on, a lot coming. So the birth pains have started. The so times of sorrows are here and the judgments are here. So uh, I pray that you all are watching and praying and keeping the blood over your doorposts and over your families and over your grandchildren. Uh, saying these spiritual welfare prayers daily uh, around your households. And if you need spiritual welfare prayers, just write me and I will be glad to send you uh, a PDF file of a book of spiritual welfare prayers, okay, that many of you have requested in the past. So let's listen to uh, Lois right now and I'll talk to you guys on another video because I'm just not going to do nothing else here tonight, okay? Lowe's Folk Shop. Today is September 2nd, 2018, and I woke up this morning with this really heavy word from the Father. Um, I just laid there for a while and waited before I wrote it down, but I'm pretty much going to just say it and then let you meditate on it because this is something that needs to get out there um, because he's talking about a couple different places where things are going to happen. Um, I have words of rebuke for you, California, and your arrogance of going against the laws of your land. You think you can silence my words of truth to the world by taking it upon yourself to proclaim your own rules and regulations. Woe unto you, California, for I have waited patiently for you to step into my truth, and you have arrogantly not only created your own law, but have moved in the direction of killing the unborn and allowing such abominations in my sight. And I will no longer, it will no longer be tolerated. I have been watching you closely and you have voted in these abominations by allowing those in authority to take their positions. Brace yourself for I am about to make move against you. The world is going to reap what she has sowed. For the time is at hand for my indignation to pour down. I tell you, my people, it is time for you to join together as one body and take your rightful positions in my kingdom. For the battle is about to intensify, and you will have to follow those who will lead you to safety. I tell you, reprobate minds are everywhere and will not go away until my return. So here we go, my love. Grab hold of my hand and let me walk you through this tribulation where every demonic entity is about to surface, for they know my return is imminent and they must do everything to try and stop my kingdom. Love is your strength, so love one another and stop looking at the differences and hold on to what is truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Preach the gospel to every nation and fear not, for I am with you. California, you have been judged. Abominations will be stopped, for they bring a stench to my nostrils, and woe, unto those who ignore my words of truth. For you have rejected true love and have partnered with a fallen angel who is about to be thrown into the pit. Why would you ignore my sacrifice and accept destruction? Woe unto the nations of the earth who have rejected my father, my father's love. And woe unto those who foolishly say there is no God. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth who make it their goal to destroy anything that does not agree with their foolish belief. That man is indestructible in his ability to live forever. Your science of creation will fall and crumble. For as in the days of Noah, when mankind joined with the angels to create abominations, so too you are messing with creation once again 
and my father will destroy your ability to do so. But while you arrogantly take life as if it has no holiness and use it to create such abominations, you will see where your science gets you. You will see where your creation gets you and you will see where my father's wrath will destroy you for your arrogance and worshiping yourselves rather than your creator. It is all love from our hearts that we gave you and you took it and turned against me, the one who created you in, this, in his image and his likeness. Woe unto those who despise the correction of a God who only seeks to bless you. Woe unto you, California, and unto you, New York City, and unto you, Los Angeles, and unto you, Chicago, and unto you, New Orleans, who still has not listened to my correction upon you when Katrina hit. What will you do when I send another destruction upon you? I only seek to love you all, and yet you only seek to gratify yourselves, and you do not even care who you destroy to do it. This day is a very sad day for my father and I, and our spirit that dwells within my people. Hold on, my love, for I will wrap you out before my fire pours out on the earth. I love you with all that. And then I got capitals, I am. Because Jesus says, I am. He is, I am, the I am. And obviously Jesus said these words. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Well, some heavy, 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 heavy words from the Lord. And he's telling us to grab hold of his hand because we're about to enter into a time frame like never before and never will be again. And we have to follow the true prophets because they will be speaking the truth to us. They will be telling us what's going to happen, um, what we need to do. Um, so keep your eyes on Jesus. Fear not. Trust him. He loves us. And he's about to make some moves. So that's all I have to say. I'm going to, I just want this out there so people can hear it and be prepared. Be prepared, California. Something's about to happen. He told me he would not want, put another warning out about any earthquake. He told me. He said enough about the earthquakes and everybody's been ignoring him, including his people. So he's not going to tell me if there's going to be an earthquake. But there just might be because he has spoken it and it is going to happen at some point. I still think there's going to be a 7 or a 7.5 that hits California. It's going to create a major issue. And that's not even the mega one that's going to happen down the line. So, I don't know. Be ready for anything and everything. I'm most will sharp and I'll be back again when he sends me back again. Have a blessed day. Okay, people. I'm just going to end that. Um... And I will talk to you guys on another video. You have a pleasant night. Uh, I'm telling you to pray, pray, pray. Pray for Israel. Pray for all the things going on over there. And pray for yourself, your children. Keeping them before the Father. Uh, be prepared. Uh, keep emergency items in your households. Uh, you know, just do what you know to do, people. I've been talking about this for many, many years. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go now. And you guys have a pleasant night. Uh, look in the description box to see some additional news uh, links I might have posted there for the night. Uh, so I'm just going to say Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to just say Shalom Shalom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shabbat Shalom. Shalom Shalom. Love you so much. Bye-bye.